Shadow of Intent, the flagship of the Fleet of Retribution and the personal ship of the Arbiter's most trusted lieutenant, and arguably the most well-known Covenant ship in all of the Halo universe. Hey there Covenant fans, Major Thesk here, and before we begin, I have a quick announcement to make. Uh, there's a new Covenant-centric Discord open to the fandom. If you want to meet up with other Covenant fans and have a really nice time, uh, be sure to check it out, along with the uh, Discord to the Covenant Canon channel, both of which will be linked in the description below. Now, without further ado, this is the Shadow of Intent. Let's begin. The Shadow of Intent is a Corel pattern assault carrier, originally designed during the Third Age of Discovery by the Prophet of Expediency in concurrence with the Vice Minister of Sacred Assembly. Actual construction of the vessel was performed by the Lath of the Enlightened in partnership with the Son of Victory. Though not much is known about the ship's career during the Human Covenant War, it's safe to say it's seen many battles, as its hull is still dotted with blackened gashes caused by nuclear fire. When the Prophet of Truth's betrayal set off the Great Schism in November 3rd, 2552, the Shadow of Intent was one of the ships stationed above Installation 05. Under the control of the Jural Hane, the Shadow of Intent attacked the Sangheili fleet's overhyped charity as the Covenant Civil War truly began. But then, the man, the myth, the legend, Urtas Vadum, led a strike force personally onto the vessel and seized control of the carrier, becoming the flagship of the newly formed Fleet of Retribution. The Shadow of Intent was one of two assault carriers used against the Covenant Loyalists, the other being the Eternal Reward, which was sadly destroyed by the Spear of Light under the command of the prelate Tembektek. Anyhow, the Shadow of Intent partially glassed High Charity in an attempt to combat the Flood aboard it. However, the infected CCS Battlecruiser, Indulgence of Conviction, broke through the blockade and made a slipspace jump to Earth. The Shadow and a small portion of the fleet quickly followed it back to Earth, where they arrived just in time. As expected, when the, uh, when the infected ship crashed on the planet, the Flood didn't waste any time in overrunning the few UNSC forces around the Ark portal. The Shipmaster helped to evacuate as many personnel as they could before the Separatist ships then glassed the city and the surrounding region to prevent the Flood from spreading across Earth. After a period of deliberation among the Sanghili and UNSC leaders, Shadow of Intent led the rest of the Fleet of Retribution through the portal to Ark along with the Ford Unto Dawn in his cargo hold. They were immediately met by Truth's fleet and engaged them, even outnumbered three to one, as the Ford Unto Dawn slipped past the enemy ships and onto the surface. After crushing the brutes in space, the Shroud of Intent began to send down soldiers, vehicles, and supplies to aid their human allies. The ship then took part in a diversionary bombardment of the Forerunner's shield protecting the Ark Citadel, the point from which the entire Halo Ray could be fired. When the shield was deactivated, the Shadow prepared to cleanse the Citadel of the Betrayer and his savage puppets. However, before the carrier could get into position, the Flood-infested High Charity just tore through slip space and crashed onto the surface of the Ark, shedding debris and all sorts of nasty nastiness as it fell, a large fragment of which smashed right through the Shadow of Intent amidship and inflicted severe damage, knocking out all of the carrier's weapon systems. Despite the damage, the ship remained operational and retreated. Following Truth's death at the hand of the Arbiter, Shout of Intent evacuated all the surviving Sanghealing and human forces. Only the Arbiter, the Master Chief, Cortana, and Sergeant Avery Johnson remained to activate the newly discovered Halo, Installation 08, thereby defeating the Flood. Shortly after the destruction of the Halo and the supposed death of the Master Chief, the Shadow of Intent presided over the Voy Memorial commemoration prior to the ship's final departure from Earth. The Shadow of Intent performs vital roles for the Swords of Singhelios Alliance in the post-war era by reacting to Covenant incursions, dealing with marauders from remote colonies, and pursuing Sanshum war criminals who supported the Prophet of Truth during the Great Schism. Months later, after the memorial at Void, the Shadow of Intent came into contact with a Covenant Loyalist cell after numerous attacks on Sanghili colonies. This led them to a prototype Halo ring that threatened Sanghelios and probably the entire Sanghili race. But Ertos and his men, with the help of the turncoat prelate, Tembetek, destroyed the Halo and saved the day. The female Sanghili, Tul Juran, would later be made a member of the crew soon after, marking her as probably one of the first female Sanghili to join the Swords of Sanghelios. As of now, the Shadow of Intent is in a sorry state of affairs. Scarred after endless battles with ruined halls and collapsed chambers, and manned by what's 
effectively a skeleton crew, carriers like the Shadow of Intent would be filled with hundreds, if not thousands of warriors. But that's a luxury the Swords and Helios just can't afford. Despite this, the warriors who do serve upon the Shadow of Intent are steadfast in their mission to help protect the Swords of Helios and their people from any threat. However, the ship has undergone numerous improvements thanks to the best and brightest artisan armors of the Swords of Helios, along with <coughs> consultants from the colony of Venezia. One such improvement is the Battlemaster's Yard, which project battle simulations not unlike those from the wargame simulations that Spartan 4s go through. And even some of the Arbiter's engineers have made some alterations while repairing the carrier. What these alterations could be, none can say. But now that the galaxy is being taken over by the created, where is the Shadow of Intent? Are they aware of this new threat? And how will it play a new role in the new war to come? Only time will reveal this and more. Yeah.